we have a picture. Uh, okay, it's a little difficult to see what we have. Okay, it's coming in as a, a real bright, uh, real bright uh, blob on the screen. It's hard to tell what we're looking at. That's the Earth. Apollo 8 was a first for NASA. It was the first time they would attempt to send a spacecraft to the moon and return it to Earth. The first time they would test the ability of the Saturn V to place a spacecraft into a translunar trajectory. The first time they would test the Apollo command and service module on a lunar mission. And the first time they would send animals through and beyond the Van Allen radiation belts. The animals in this case being three humans. It would also be the first time any human had witnessed the Earth from afar, and the first live TV broadcast from a spacecraft beyond low Earth orbit. The broadcast, that took place at a distance of 138,000 miles, showed scenes of the astronauts in the command module, but technical problems initially prevented any of the planet. And when at last the camera swung around to show the view through a cabin window, the picture was far from conclusive. Before we continue, let's rewind back to just before the Earth comes into view. As you can see, the cameraman hasn't had to line up the shot because the object is instantly visible from one frame to the next, almost as if a light has been switched on. And what exactly are we looking at? Even Capcom in Houston isn't sure. Okay, it's a little difficult to see what we have. That's the Earth. But it's not the telephoto lens, unfortunately, it's just a regular inside lens. Regardless of lens, it's not the Earth, this is. It's an image of the Earth taken during the mission, showing how much of the planet is in shadow. That won't change much during the whole trip. A side-by-side -side comparison exposes the TV image to be a ball of light on the end of a stick. The light is also reflected in a second glass pane. But it is how this object moves, or doesn't, relative to the window that proves it cannot be the Earth. When the camera finally comes to rest on a view of the object, a line of sight is established that is perpendicular to the cabin window. In this case, one of two squarish windows on either side of the command module. As you can see in the photo, this window has an inner and outer pane of glass. As the camera moves away, the object remains in view through the window, which is at an increasingly obtuse angle. This type of camera is prone to ghosting from bright objects, and you can see the path that it makes as the angle changes. In this scale simulation, the distant Earth is viewed through the 9-inch window of the command module. Watch what happens to the position of the Earth as the camera angle changes. The only way it would be possible to see the Earth from both angles is if it was just outside the window or a reflection of something in the window. So in this case, we can dismiss the evidence because the object is artificial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button and follow me on social media to discover the truth behind Apollo, the fourth stage.